So I'm here at the start finish line of Ixay La Vallée. We're about two hours away from the start of the 10 kilometer night leg. See you out there. Ixay de la Vallée is a three day running festival near saint raymond Quebec, now in its ninth year. There's a total of four racers and racers can either do a single event or can do a series of three races. The first event of the weekend is actually a night stage, 11 and a half kilometers in length and features three loops of the same course with a lot of fast running. There's something very unique and special about running at night by headlamp. Of course, a good light plays a huge role in how fast you can run the technical trails. The course itself started at the beach, made its way along gravel road before turning uphill and twisting its way through a technical track. You then came out onto a grassy plain, back onto the gravel road before passing an aid station and then rooping around and do the same thing three times. Average times overall were about an hour. Luckily at the finish line, even though it was dark, there was plenty of food on hand to rejuvenate and get us ready for the next days of long racing. There was also a great bonfire at the beach, and then things wrapped up with award ceremony for the top finishers in male and female. A highlight of the race for three-day racers is the fact that we all camp together on site and share meals before and after the race on the beach. It's 10 to 9 on day 2. We're about to head onto the shuttle buses to start this 38 kilometer day. Day two started with a race briefing on the bus before we made our way to the start and finish line. As I mentioned, there are actually four races on the weekend. So on the second day, racers having the option of racing either the 38 kilometer long course or a 10 kilometer short course. In addition, if you're doing the three day events, you have the choice of doing what's called the Trans Express, which is 10K the first night, 10K the second day, and 20 on the third day, or the Trans Valet, which is a longer option, which features the 10K night race, the 38K day race, and then wrapping up at 20k. As you can see, on the second day it was a very long, difficult course, but there were aid stations scattered along the course at about 10 kilometer intervals. The train was extremely tough, probably the toughest I've actually raced this year for sure, and amongst the hardest I've ever seen. Why is it so tough? Well, basically it's relentless. There's roots and rocks the entire way, so you have to stay on your toes and make sure that you're paying attention to where you're placing your feet, otherwise you could twist an ankle. Got about 4k left in the run and being with the back of the pack here, I got to stop and enjoy that view. Those last few kilometers were predominantly downhill technical descents. So if you had tired feet, you really had to watch a step in order to make sure you got through that finish line in one piece. Luckily waiting for us was the cool river. So I basically ran straight from there into the water to get the ankles and legs cooled off. Afterwards, it was just hanging out with racers and other friends and family on the beach. Later on in the evening, there was also an option for a full meal that you paid extra for, which was either a spaghetti meal or a barbecue meal. Another great time. Well, it's Sunday morning, I'm making the walk to the shuttle bus for the final 20k of Excès de la Vallée. Day 3 was my and many other racers' favorite day of the event. It features a 20 kilometer course and traverses some spectacular scenery and great trails. Again, it's a fairly technical day, but overall less technical than that 38 kilometer slog the day before. We got to cross by a wonderful waterfall, and then on top there were some amazing views stretching out into the valley to see the beautiful scenery of the area that we were racing in. Another day, another beautiful view at the top. The trick to completing an event like the three-day Exe de la Vallée is to make sure you're checking your pace on each day. Don't go out too hard like I did on day one, because you'll suffer the next days. I should also mention that it's worthwhile knowing some French in this region, as you are fairly deep into French territory, and most racers are Francophones. Regardless, the race is completely accessible to anyone and there's a universal trail running language that prevails throughout the event. There were closing ceremonies which featured awards for both the Trans Valley and Trans Express overall winners. I'm here at the finish line and that about wraps it up for Ixay de la Vallée. If you're looking for an amazing trail race in Quebec, this is the one to check out.